Good evening. The Scottish Government insists the country will still be able to remain in the European Union even if there's a vote in favour of independence. It was responding to the President of the European Commission, Jose Mar Manuel Barroso, who said an application from Scotland to join the European Union would need the approval of all member states. Andrew Kerr reports. A lack of unity in the European Union could be a block to an independent Scotland's membership. The President of the European Commission has already said that Scotland would not automatically be a new member. He seemed to go even further today on the Andrew Marr Show, pointing to the possibility of other states vetoing EU membership. Because it's a new country and so I believe it's going to be uh, extremely difficult, if not impossible, um, a new member state coming out of one of our countries getting the agreement of, of the other. But having said that, is now for uh, the of British course. people and uh, the Scottish people, of course, in their referendum to decide about their future. Mr Barroso made particular reference to the government of Spain, well known for their opposition to independence movements in Catalonia and the Basque country. But his intervention was dismissed by the Scottish government. I think President Barroso's remarks are pretty preposterous this morning. He's he said that his position linking and comparing Scotland to the situation in Kosovo. Uh, Scotland's been a member of the EU for 40 years. However, Mr Barroso's comments were music to the ears of those opposed to Scottish independence. Of course, it's an advantage of the European Union uh, to have uh, members within it. But what uh, Barroso was saying today is that the negotiations, the discussions that take place will be anything but plain sailing. I could see them dragging on for years. As the President said, it's up to the Scottish people to decide their future. But his comments are, as ever, fueling that debate as Scots pour over what he said. Andrew Kerr, reporting Scotland. A 78-year-old cyclist has died after being involved in a collision with a car on the outskirts of Edinburgh. It happened on the road from Kirkliston to South Queensbury just before 10 o'clock this morning. At the Winter Olympics, David Murdoch's team lost their penultimate match in the round-robin stage of the curling to Norway. The defeat leaves the Team GB on five wins and three defeats and facing a crucial match against China tomorrow. Well, meanwhile, the Scottish athletes competing at the Sochi Olympics have had to contend with subtropical temperatures. The weather there is unprecedented and a number of competitions have had to be brought forward to avoid the afternoon heat. Jackie O'Brien reports. Sochi is scorching, with temperatures over 14 degrees in the mountains, making it the warmest winter games on record. Hot, cool Ewers is the slogan of the games, but athletes didn't bargain for the balmy temperatures reaching the competition slopes. So hot. Um, luckily, the clouded over a bit, so it wasn't as sunny as it was earlier today, but still, not used to skiing when it's 15 degrees. So, yeah, it was up. It was hot. <laughs> and also makes the snow slower. It's just the snow so wet and sticky. Organisers have thousands of tonnes of snow stockpiled if a major thaw sets in. But the man who came up with the snow storing concept is confident it won't be required. Snow cannot melt in a second. And even we are in a subtropical area in a way, we have still mountains. Night times in this level freezing temperatures. So don't worry about the amount of snow. Well, the subtropical temperatures we're experiencing here are never really going to pose a threat to the future of Scotland's skiing industry. But the man in charge of storage here in Russia believes his concept could work in our mountains. Jackie O'Brien reporting Scotland, Sochi. Well, what's the weather going to be like here for the start of the week? Here's Gillian with the forecast. Good evening to you. It was blue skies for many of us today, but tonight the cloud is creeping in and it's bringing outbreaks of rain tracking northwards. In fact, a bit of a wintry mix with snow above about 200 metres. The far north and northeast will hold on to clearer, frosty conditions with a risk of ice on untreated surfaces, temperatures as low as minus 4 Celsius. But into tomorrow, it's a much cloudier, damper prospect than today as low pressure once again takes charge and that rain continues to trot northwards. The snow mainly confined to the hills but we will see some to lower levels around Inverness and across the northwest highlands during the morning. A cold day, a cloudy one, quite misty and murky towards the east coast. Temperatures 5 or 6 Celsius at best. That's the forecast. Port in Scotland is back with updates from 6.25 tomorrow morning but from all of us here on the weekend team in Glasgow, good night. <laughs>